Many of you on the African continent have heard of Mr. George Soros, a billionaire in the United States, a citizen of the United States, a citizen of Hungary, who has tried and said he wants to create a better Africa, a better world. But is it a better Africa or a worse Africa for us? Why have we as Africans based our facts on, the, on handouts from people who call themselves philanthropic capitalists? Philanthropic capitalism is one of the worst and the dangerous access to finance which kills Africa in the long run. Once you get this type of capitalism and the finance, you are tied to the goals and aims of the people who are giving you this money. Is Africa going that route? Is our world changing towards a philanthropic a receiver of money that has strings attached, attached to Most of the African countries, especially South Africa, where George Soros and Open Society Foundation have the wider net, network of operations, have indeed created us what we call philanthropic capitalism. But look at South Africa today. Instead of growing more crops, they have grown into agitation of the new changes, democracy and housing, new changes in electoral reforms. They have stabilized their electoral reforms. They don't fight after elections. But they don't grow food. The food that grow that is grown is for the few people in South Africa. Is it time now for us in the Africa to think of policies that we generate us, get us out of poverty, instead of tying us on poverty, thinking we are better off on philanthropic capitalism? It is a disease that is growing that every African leader, all leaders in Africa, they intend to go to these countries. Every African leader goes to France, to India, and the big countries, to Britain, to America, now in, on 14th of December. Every African leader will wear the best suit to be seen in Washington, D.C., to be given what they want from America. But the people giving you what they want, they always have their strings attached to what they have given you. They are not giving you for free. But let's look at a comparison of the Chinese who have come and built roads, which we see physically, the roads. Yes, there are debts on the roads. Africa will have to pay for this infrastructure. But mark you, the same countries today telling us not to build the roads, not to eat roads, are the same countries that have benefited from the methods of building canals all the way from Atlantic Ocean up to an Atlantic Ocean. Canals that were built in America, the canals that were built in France from Calais up to Paris, these canals help in the transportation of goods and irrigation of arable land in France for them to grow enough food. Miriam, don't you see this? And all of you people watching me, Will you not see that this is a, a double standard? The countries that are telling us that we should not take money from China to build our infrastructure are the same countries whose infrastructure is based on the same infrastructure, roads, uh, canals, air, airports, railway. They don't want us to build those things, but they want us to build their own things. Yet they are back at their homes, they use them and that has made them to easily transport manufactured goods out of Britain, manufactured goods out of France, manufactured goods out of America. It's time for us to stop philanthropic capitalism on the continent of Africa. How do we stop philanthropic capitalism on the continent of Africa? It is by Miriam, ourselves, and ourselves alone to start talking about what we can do for Africa, instead of going around the world begging for people and for people calling us into the White House to give us envelopes that does not, do not re reflect the reality on the ground in Africa. 
George Soros, therefore, is a man on the move. And be careful. He comes in so many ways. He comes in so many ways that does not tell us to grow food. I have not seen any project of George Soros that tells us to grow food. I've never seen any project of George Soros of anybody in any country in Africa that says there is a farm of George Soros for growing more tobacco, for growing more carrots, for growing more rice, for growing more flowers to export to Europe. I've only seen a project of demonstrations for making a better noise so that demonstrations can come and uprisings are pumped to destroy what Africa has built. I submit and land the mind.